Episode 11. Welcome back, everybody, to the Poor Choices Show. I am your host, Chris, as always, with my co-host, David. We made it. Let's make some poor choices. Let's make them with this ginger. The fridge keeps them pretty cool. That's not warm. <laughs> Fuck. That was that was good. Son of a bitch. <laughs> so, want to welcome our good friend, Mister Eric, joining us all the way from I want to say Pennsylvania. Yes. Yankee Town. That'd Yankee, be correct. Yankee yep. Town. Uh, so the way we start these out, sir, is um, the name. He knows. He knows. He knows. I, listen. He's watched an episode or 10. Name, brand, you know, who brewed it, what the flavor is, and then your scale of 1 to 10 ranking of said beer. And I think as a guest, you should go first. What are you drinking and out of 10 ranking? All right. Uh, so we are drinking a called Sea Quench Ale. Uh, it's from Dogfish Head. Heard of them. Yeah. Yeah, Dogfish Head. They are, I believe, uh, they are a craft brewery uh, in Milton, Delaware. So, yeah, I actually, so actually, funny story, I went to, um, actually took a tour of this brewery once. We're going to go ahead and try this one. You took a tour of the brewery and you've never had that one? No. All right, all right. That's pretty good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Continue. How good is it? Um, so it's an ale, but it's giving, like, hints of, like, a, almost like a sour. Um, there's a very bitter taste to it. Um, David, you'd probably like this, to be honest with you. Not much uh, I don't like. That's a solid seven and a half. Eh? Okay. Okay. See, so get degrees. I'd buy this. Not bad. I'd buy this again. I would buy this again. I like it. Well, Christopher, we've already mixed it up. How about you go next? Oh, now we're getting weird. Okay. Um, I have a uh, throwback to two weeks, three weeks ago, Eric. I have a Myers Lemon Drop Shandy. Um, by the by the left hand brewing company it, if my monitor wanted to oh there he is you can see it okay um this is a uh, brewed on the banks of the mighty saint vran that's all i got oh there you go canned by left hand brewing company longmont colorado brewed with rocky mountain water oh look at that okay um this is a burnt all I got is it's a it's a burst of sunshine in every sip. <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like people I work with. So let's see if I burst into some sunshine here. Oh. That'll make your butthole tight. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fuck her up, buttercup. <laughs> Ooh. And you know what? If you're into lemon, that's great. Uh, I'm kind of in the lemon, but we could tell by your hat. Oh, man. You said it wasn't too bright, you son of a bitch. It just looks like a lemon. You look like a lemon. It's, uh, <laughs> I'm the broke one in the lot. It's, it's, it's lemony. It's not bad. It's just strong, strong lemon flavor. I'm going to say like a six, nine. <laughs> Not like damn you're dead. fine. Yeah, just like uh three six nine. I can Is I it can, a sour? Uh, no, it's a uh uh the shandy. That's all I got for you. Uh you did say that. Huh. Uh, um yeah, I mean it's okay. It's all right. It's okay. <laughs> it's probably the worst beer in our eleven weeks doing this so far. Okay. Well, apologies to the left hand. No. Maybe you should make, be make right better beer. Hey, well, yeah, make better beer next time. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. 
All right. So six, nine, seven, five. Let's hope I get a little. Let's we need we need something in the eights here. Yeah. So what are you what are you sipping on? I've got a Fruitorian by Clown Shoes Brewery. Clown hey. Shoes beer. That I have clown shoes with my dream patch. Same same oh, brand. Well, well, there you go. Yeah, yeah. It's a sour ale with guava and passion fruit. Both of which I don't really like. What's the alcohol on it? Because my dream patch, if I recall, was like a six and a half or a six eight, something like that. This is a five point eight. Okay. So a little little higher. It says brewed by Clown Shoes Beer, Austin, Massachusetts, and Windsor, Vermont. So I'm not entirely sure where this came from. Well, the dream patch from Clown Shoes that I had said Belgium on it. Like originally, like the original company is from Belgium. I could be, you know, who knows? The back says beer without pretension. So find out. Mm -hmm. He's questioning it. He seems okay. It's not bad. But it's not like, damn, that's really good. In your face, yeah. Yeah, I'd probably order one. I wouldn't be upset about it, but I don't know that I'd get another. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it at the seven and a half with with Eric. I think. All right, so not the strongest week for us all around, but you know, yeah, it's okay. I bet if we had like a a brunette on, the beers would taste better. Eric, you must be a, a Bears fan, huh? How could you tell? <laughs> a little bit of the hat. No, I'll say yeah. for, for audio listeners, he's got a big old B hat on. Big old B. Yeah. Yep. You know, uh, draft come up in a week. So, yep. uh, got to represent. Ain't, ain't gonna, ain't gonna help y'all at all. Listen, we got two top 10 picks, all right? We'll, How many times we'll have you had here. top 10 picks and that amounted to anything? Um... I don't know. Here's the other thing. Your top 10 picks, if you kept Justin Fields, could have been spent on a certain Marvin Harrison Jr. as one of them. Listen, I am just along for the ride. <laughs> you, that's a never-ending trip, my good friend. <laughs> um, yeah, the only one who's experienced any success recently is your, your Ravens. Um, if you want to call it that. I mean, it's been since yeah. 2012. Hey. Just because you can spit over the finish line doesn't mean you're a winner listen david who, I, who said that david is that like a famous like i just made it up is it a real thing <laughs> i don't know it sounded like it could be something <laughs> well speaking of being be, being bad at, at draft picks uh yeah. i got some chicago sports trivia for you eric oh right. okay <laughs> i got five questions and i want to see how die hard of a fan you are is it just bears oh, or chicago sports like black it's Hawks, chicago Cubs. sports okay as long as it's in the white Sox. hey see hey don't hate on my south side team all right i like the white Sox, <laughs> even though they're, they're two north and, of us they're two and 14 but hey listen so bad yeah well it's relevant to draft picks because i'm sure you guys know magic johnson uh, among other accolades he's a hall of famer I've heard of a 12 time all-star a yeah, five time nba champ three time I'll mvp 10-time All-NBA award winner. One-time AIDS a... beater, right? He, he beat AIDS. <laughs> he did. Yeah, so yeah. That's uh, current the owner achievement. of the Commanders? Uh, he's on the board, part owner, however that works. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Got it. So it was said that he was almost a Chicago Bull, but mm -hmm. instead the Bulls drafted a player whose biggest accomplishment was an NBA championship on the backs of a Pistons team led by Dennis Rodman and Isaiah Thomas while averaging five minutes a game from the bench. Who was that player? You're literally talking to one of the most fair-weather basketball fans. When Derrick Rose won MVP, you didn't seem like a fair-weather basketball fan. Damn. Yeah, they were really good. So I paid attention. So who did the Bulls <laughs> draft instead of Magic Johnson? Oh, goodness. Is it like a known player? No. Oh. No, it's not going to be. No. Well, then why it's... would he know this? <laughs> because this he's, a, I he's a fan. Yeah, I have the slightest clue, man. Yeah, that's... it's. How long was he on the Bulls for? <laughs> that's, that's a pretty loaded like six, question. Six, seven years, I think. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. We're still talking. I would... Barely walking, probably. But, you ain't going to yeah. get it. It's Dave Greenwood. Oh, legend. Eric, yeah. you know, you know, Dave Greenwood. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. You have, his, yeah, yeah. you have his jersey and everything, right? Hanging out right behind me. Yeah. Yeah. yeah That's yeah. an American flag. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I mean, Dave Greenwood's as American as it gets. <laughs> that that <laughs> that name is like. <laughs> Next question. Originally named the Decatur Staleys and subsequently the Chicago Staleys, after relocating in 1921, George Hallis ultimately changed the name of the team to the Chicago Bears in 1922. Why did Hallis choose the name the Bears? The Bears, 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 the Bears. Why did he change? Man, you know, I don't know why, why he chose the name the Bears. Why are they the Bears? I read about this once. Um, You forgot about it once, too. Yeah. Uh, Apparently. I can't remember why he chose the name the Bears. I so read about team, this like years ago, but the team played at Wrigley Field, where the Cubs mm-hmm. also played, and Hallis thought football players are usually bigger than baseball players, similar to how Bears oh. are bigger than Cubs. Yep. yep. Wow. Okay. So bonus question for that. Do you know why the Bears colors are blue and orange? No. Because Hallis liked the bright orange and blue colors of his alma mater at the University Florida. of Illinois. Oh. Illinois? Fun fact. Yeah, I, I guess. remember he was Illinois. I also oh. don't. I don't think of the Bears as blue, though. I really Damn. don't. <laughs> the Cowboys have been so bad for so long. Granted, mm-hmm. it would take all they three haven't. of our. No, listen, listen. They haven't been bad for Again, so long. If you if you can spit across the finish line, it doesn't make you successful. Um. Well, I mean, you could say that for like thirty-one teams. Every exactly. Year, so. Yeah, they haven't been bad for right. so long every year, but not this many years. In a right. row. Sorry, not the hijack. Go ahead. Sorry. Granted, it would take all three of our lifetimes combined to have suffered the same drought as the Cubs did. Yeah. Prior to winning the World Series in 2016, it had been 108 years since 1908 when the Cubs had last won a championship. Yep. Who did they beat in 1908? Is it a um a, a team that still exists? Yep. Yeah. City does. It was too. the White Sox, right? No. No? No, move a state over to the east. You Googling bastard. No, Wikipedia is not Google. <laughs> <laughs> you Googled it and clicked the Wikipedia link. <laughs> they might have the same colors as the Chicago Bears, one might say. One might say. <laughs> this is a, uh, I mean, Miguel... that's, that's as good of a hint as you're going to get, Eric. <laughs> one state over to the east. Same didn't colors Miguel as the Cabrera Bears. Cabrera play for him? Yep. Huh? Miggy? I didn't hear that. Miggy? Miguel? Cabrera? Oh, Detroit. Detroit. Right. Yeah. There you go. All right. Next one. Patrick Kane was accused of allegedly having a drinking problem and later apologizing, <laughs> yeah. saying it was embarrassing and it's not who I want to be, following an incident in 2009 which he pled guilty to a non-criminal charge of disorderly conduct. What Maybe was the charge? driver? Well, that's the answer. What was that? Nice. Do you want to? Do you know where it was? Oh, uh, you I don't already got it right. Where it was. Yeah, it was, no, I don't remember where it was. It was Buffalo. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's, yeah, his hometown, I believe. All right, last one. In route to a fifty-five to fourteen victory over the Bears during a Sunday night game on November 9th, twenty fourteen, Aaron Rodgers threw six first half touchdowns. On the other side, Jay Cutler went twenty-two of thirty-seven with 272 yards passing. One of those passes went 11 yards to a receiver for his only catch of the night. That catch was one of eight total for the receiver's one-year stint with the Bears before retiring, capping off a nine-year career. Who was that receiver? What year was it? 2014. Nine-year career, one year with the Bears, retired after, had eight catches on the year. Can we get what team he was known to play for? Uh, you probably already probably looked it, it up. Oh, no, I'm, I'm in the process of. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. You probably, probably give it away. He was probably, really, yeah. He was really good. He wasn't, though. When you look at it, he was, but when you look at his stats, he had one year over a thousand yards. He was one, yeah. I mean, he was like weirdly like great hands, big dude, but never. You say great hands. It wasn't, hand. this, it wasn't this, Moose, was it? No, no. this will give it away, Eric. You say yeah. great hands because of one catch he had during yeah. the Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah. Was it Lloyd? No. His number two he, was, it did, just to give you a perspective of the time frame, his number two receiver that year was Alshon Jeffrey. Eric, when you think of the best Super Bowl catch you've ever seen, what do you think of? That's a fair. Uh, fair. Probably Santonio San Holmes. Oh. That's it. That's who it is. All right, Eric, well, 
I know you've watched some of the episodes. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm sure you watched the wedding special. We want to know what your favorite part about the wedding was. Did I already tell you that? Is that what I had written down? Oh, no. I had, I had your wedding experience. I, man, the next day, I felt like I did a full body workout. I'm not even kidding. Well, Eric, like, if, to be fair, if I didn't have your jacket, also, everyone who's <laughs> listened to that podcast, this is the man whose jacket I took home with me. Um, that was fantastic. If I didn't have your jacket, would you guys have still like gone out to breakfast and done all that? Because there was no chance I was going no. out. Yeah, okay. Uh, we were gonna grab something and go. Um, you got a bug in there? <laughs> Did so you? What the fuck we, was that? <laughs> we. <laughs> oh, that's well, no, the picture. I was, I'm making so, sure you guys didn't hear that noise. Did you hear that or no? No, nah, you look like you're about to get okay. stung by a bee. So, so Josh and I, Josh and okay, so Josh and I were driving home that day. And we were gonna stop and just grab something. And, whoa, 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 whoa! Back up, back up, and go. Back yeah, up. we ain't we we ain't even on the road yet. Back up. No, he's talking about he's talking about when we were yeah the day after the, like, the day after the wedding. Yeah. yeah. So so this is a day prior but to you're driving. Asking I'm saying like prior to driving what 15 yeah. hours home. 15 hours. Yes. So is, here, rewind like two hours. No, I was gonna say is a day starting drinking at what vodka and Red Bulls at 10 10 30 a.m. Oh, you going back to Squid Lips? No, 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 no. This is a wedding day. Uh, when you got your smoky thing, my my mulch garita, yeah. So that so the day before they drove fifteen hours, they started drinking at ten thirty, maybe eleven a.m. into mm. a wedding. Yes. Continue. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, we need like lobby. noon. No, we're, Saturday, okay, so we're all sitting, so like well, we're all sitting there in the lobby, uh, waiting for the bus that some yeah, fuck messed that up the we're schedule. Not didn't go, yeah, he didn't come back around. Yeah. Um, you know, we get we get there, we do the whole uh, we're playing pool. Uh, we're all just goofing off, uh, BSing up top in the uh, in the loft, um, having a good time. Yeah, just music, drinks flowing, um, having a good old time shooting. Uh, Shooting the shit and playing some pool and um, blocking you from seeing your. Uh, oh, that's time, right. You were holding the wife. window. Yeah, yeah when yeah. I had to go. Take As you're a piss. closing your eyes, I'm like, David, I got the blinds closed, man. <laughs> just go ahead and like just almost walk fell by. on the goddamn step. <laughs> Eric was like, "Good dude." I was like, ah, "I can't see." <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, and then they gather us all uh, photos um, after Chris burned his hand. Not. Oh, I, forgot yeah, was, Chris. Oh, Chris. Chris. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah. Other Chris, I forgot about that. Poured poured boiling water on his hand. Yeah, that, this like, motherfucker says the steamer hot. <laughs> steamer hot. Yeah, <laughs> that was really <laughs> funny. I totally forgot about that. Yeah, that yeah. was that was something. Um, That's why so we yeah, ask we these some, questions. We take some photos. We get, and then there you go. Then it's showtime, man. Uh, we get out there. Uh, not gonna lie, this is the first time I've ever slightly been emotional in a uh, like a wedding setting. Um, I know both of y'all had some waterworks going, but well, if you listen to that episode, I remember saying yep. um, once I started my sniffles, I just heard them all around me. As far as our our groomsmen party went, like the second I started doing a little bit of a yeah, there was like Thomas. There was a few other people. I didn't get that far, but I could feel some tears like kind of start rolling. Oh up. no, it was and, uh, it was full no, no. Me, you son I didn't get that far. I didn't get that far. I didn't get that far. No, as soon as um, I as soon as I saw Kayla, I was like, "Fuck this." <laughs> Same. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And right, I was like, right, "Wait, right, that's right, what I'm here right. for." Right, right, right. I can't so, say fuck this. Um. Yeah. No. Then the whole reception, and then yeah. Um. I didn't have any time to plan my intro into uh, the reception oh, because I you. could not find. Thank I you. could not. Well, no, no. So I kind of sort of ish knew. But OK, so I'm also. Yeah, but so never I'm planned out. it with them. No, no, no. Yeah. But that's also because uh, she like completely disappeared with her um, with her fiance. OK. Um, so then. All right. So you didn't know about the intro, but you kind of knew because, as I told Chris, that's pretty fucking standard for I, a wedding, right? I figured it was coming, but at the same time, I wish I had like an extra five minutes. Right. You know, aside from your sister and stepbro, everyone else went, What are we going to do? <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, dude. Yeah, just no, saying. I kind of figured it was, it was not, coming. It's but... not just me, is all I'm saying. It wasn't just me. Yeah, I kind of figured it was coming, but it was also 
so i didn't we didn't also get like even two seconds to like well, i mean we got two seconds but to discuss it but literally the event coordinators came up and were like all right let's go we're going uh figure out your thing and it was like oh, i don't even know where my partner is like <laughs> he's in the middle of a tag team match uh, yeah like i was like i okay and then Fight she comes the intercontinental like, championship yeah and we're yeah i can't even remember we're like the fourth or fifth group i think to go in something like that i can't remember but i can't either so we go in we do our thing you know the uh oh. <laughs> so the reception goes off you know everything goes off without a hitch and hold on so like, i thought about it later on and i was like man i was like i could have had her like hit me with a chair or like something oh like that would have been that. so good eric <laughs> but but i but, you know you have two seconds to think about it and it just it didn't pop in i thought about it later on in the day and i was like man. or like pretend to get like handsy with her then glacier comes in and just fucks yes, you yes, up yes no that was like, yeah that was like another in, thing like he like full, choke slams me or something garb. like that yeah, yeah. 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 like sub-zero running in there that would have yeah. been great dude he's a crazy looking motherfucker back in his day like looking at his <laughs> pictures fuck messing with that guy god damn <laughs> He looks like the, the, the German from, like, that not Christmas movie, Die, uh, Die Hard. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know exactly what you're doing. Yeah, you could, just... you, could, <laughs> you could talk about a not Christmas movie while you're referencing a dude named after Ice. No. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Ice isn't Christmas. Snow is, it though. It happens during Christmas. Mm. Yeah. So does, like, divorce. <laughs> <laughs> divorce? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, well, speaking of divorce, <sighs> terrible yeah. segue into uh, the next thing I wanted to ask, but uh -huh. Eric, we, well, I don't know about we, because I don't think I ever talked to Chris about it. Mm -hmm. I'm curious to know your experience in Las Vegas. Uh -oh. What would you like to know? Can bring down the mood like that? No, no, no. This, I, 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 I talk about this freely, down. openly. This is like um, an adrenaline. Right, well, so yeah, we don't invite for... people on the show that are going to be like, I don't want to talk about it. No, no, no. So, I, yeah, I, so no let me give you about my so. experience of it. Mm -hmm. And that was simply waking up to a text message from Eric saying, love you, bro. And I was like, hmm? love you too, bro. I'm going to go make some coffee and <laughs> go on with my day. Right, eat some oatmeal. Yeah. yeah. All right. So Sit for... down, watch the news, and I'm like, wait, I think Eric was there. Yeah. So for all the listeners, I was at the Route 91 uh, festival. Back in um, October, oh, what year was that? 19? 2018? That? That's not something you forget. <laughs> I forget the year, you know, it's all a blur. Um, it was probably November 9th, 2014, the same Sunday night that Aaron Rodgers threw six touchdowns in the first half against the Bears. I'm going to say it wasn't that day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just a guess. Anyways, as you are. What, what would you like to know? It was 2017, by the way. Just your, like, I don't think I've ever really talked to you about it, so I just want to know, like, so, so, like, for example, I was at the Annapolis You just want me to start with the beginning of the happened. weekend? No, I don't want, I want to hear all the bullshit. I just want to hear that happening. Like, I was at the Annapolis Mall when that shooting happened, and mm -hmm. I would start that story with, it sounded like someone threw a chair, and I turned around and, like, saw everybody ducking. So, like, from the inception, I guess, of the event, what was your experience? So, all right. So, to read, to, so... It's a three day weekend, uh, country music festival, three day country. Yeah. Um, the whole preface of that was I wanted to go see Eric church. He was playing in Vegas. I said, you know what? And this is the whole time I'm going through a split with, um, my son's mom at the time. Uh, so that's why I do this on a whim. I go out there, I go to see it. And so on Sunday, Sunday night, um, uh, Jason Aldean comes on, he's third song in and you hear something and you know it, it was weird because the way the buildings are and stuff like that and on the strip uh it almost like at first i'm like oh, it's a speaker but in my head i'm like oh it just sounded like a possibly like a speaker blowing or you know because the initial he, the initial burst that the guy shot it was like it almost sounded like a speaker blowing or like something like that and i'm like so uh, i'm there with his mom at the time because you know we're like working things out and like you know whatever um so she's like, what is that? And I'm like, in my head, I'm like, sounds like a rifle. But at the same time, I'm like, there's no way. We're on the strip. Literally hundreds of police officers. 
I got, I had to lift, so I wore jeans, boots, stuff like that. I had to lift my jeans up, let them see like inside of my boots, take off my hat, everything, whole nine yards for security. I was like, no way someone's in here with a gun. So I was like, it's nothing. I was like, so I talked to myself and being like, yeah, it's nothing like firecrackers, country concert, rednecks, shooting them off, doing some dumb Fucking stuff. Fucking hooligans, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A uh, couple seconds later, the 11 minutes straight gunfire. 11 um, minutes? 11 minutes he shot for. Jesus Correct. Christ. Um, so all of a sudden you hear a panic come over the crowd. Some screams start happening. Luckily, I didn't see anything. You know, I was on, on Sunday. It was a third day. Like I said, I was drunk the first two nights. Had a little buzz going the last one, but Jason Aldean, like Jason Aldean, but he's not, he wasn't Eric Church who I was there to see, who I was up front for and stuff like that, which the whole, the area where I was for Eric Church was where the majority of people got shot. Um. So luckily, Aldine, I'm in the back. People, I recognize it as gunfire. We start taking off towards the back. Um, when you say taking off, was it just like people screaming? And just, and it, oh, there's people screaming. There's people running, pushing each other out of the way. Uh, like every man for himself. David, like, let's go. David, you, were, you went to like basic and stuff like that. I mean, they shot live ammunition over you. Well, what do you mean over you? Like, did, uh, in your vicinity and stuff like that. Like, could you hear like bullets ever pinging off of things? And like, yeah. I yeah, pinged bullets so, off of things. Huh? I pinged bullets off of things. Yeah, okay. So those are you at you, though. Like metal and ricochet. Yeah, those, and... yeah, yeah, off the food trucks and all the all the other stuff. Like, just, you can hear just little pings and stuff like that. And, like, all the screams. And so we run straight towards the back. And I remember because there's another tent that was straight back, which is also where the service entrance was for, like, the, um, for like the food, the vendors and stuff like that. And it was, I mean, it was shut. So me and a few other people... Uh, well, first, she tried to go towards our hotel, which was the Luxor, which was connected to the Mandela Bay. So she would have went straight across the street in front of this guy's path. So I grabbed her and I said, no, 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 we're going this way. Because I knew where it was coming from. I didn't know the guy's 32 floors up shooting down. Um, so me and a few other guys, we tear down like the back gate and we go out. We go through, we go because right across the street back from there is the Tropicana. And I remember calling my parents. I called my mom. And I was like, hey, love you. This is what's happening. There's a shooter. Um, I can't stay on the phone because I'm going to listen to the police scanner. I need all the information I can get uh, because, you know, when you're doing it, it's all echoing and everything like that. So you don't know yeah, if there's multiple you don't, people. You don't know the like, specific side thing. Like when I was yeah. at the mall for that shooting, I was running through Sears to leave. And I'm like, I don't know if it's like terrorists, like sitting mm -hmm. at every exit with a gun exactly. ready to pop people when they come out. Or like you have no idea what the fuck's going on. Yeah, so that's so that's my thought, and we're like, all right, I have no clue what's going on. I'm sprinting through, going around the back of the Tropicana. I'm like, all right, we gotta get off the strip. So I pull up the police scanner. After I call my mom, and she's on the phone with her mom. You know, hi, mom, dad, love you. Just keep me updated. Send me text messages. Um, so we get into the Tropicana, and I'm using that to cut through just to break line of sight and stuff like that. And they're like, you know, everybody's pouring down the strip. So. I take a second to like, all right, I've broken line of sight. Let me pull up a map because I don't know anything other than the strip in Vegas. So as I'm sitting there, I got the scanner playing, stuff like that. I'm looking through things. Someone yells, shooter, shooter, shooter. I'm like, crap. So we go sprinting back the other way and I'm listening, listening to the scanner. I'm like, all right, let's go this way. Let's go this way. And so they're, they go, all right, uh, shooter at the New York, New York. And I'm like, oh my God. I was like, that's straight up the strip. Um, all right, we can't go that way. We need to go off the strip as fast as we can. And it's like, shooter at the Paris, shooter here. And I'm like... So at this point, you you guys are like, there's like several multiple shooters yeah. in the strip at in Las point, Vegas. they said shooter at like seven different places on the police scanner. Wow. And so, yeah, so I'm at this point, I'm like second floor of the Tropicana because that's like where you could enter at, like through the kitchen. Right. Just right. put it in the back to break line of sight. And I'm like, all right, we're getting out of here. And we're just going, we're just booking it east off the strip. And... As I'm about to go down the stairs, they're like, shooter first floor Tropicana. And I was like, oh. I was like, all right, we're stuck. I was like, all right, so what are we doing? We're stuck. And I was like, all right. I was like, we have exits here. I was like, we get, I was like, cause we're on this like second floor. I was like, all right. All these people are like huddled in the back and they're like, all right, we're on the second floor, like kind of roof, kind of lower area. I was like, all right, we can jump off here. We can jump off here. There's also an area up here where no one can get up to unless they climb a ladder. I was like, we're pretty safe here. I was like, and there's like, uh, I'm with like another military guy and he's like, Hey, we have a choke point here. Anyone comes up here. He's like, they have to come up a ladder. And he's like, there's nothing that they can do with like a, a with like a rifle without us being able to push them off or like attack them or something like that. So we're you ever think you're going to go, not you shoot two up, floors the ladder? up, two floors up. 
Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know the logistics. Two floors of... up, and there's like a half wall, so you can hide behind everything. Uh, okay. I have a question. Mm-hmm. You got all these these reports of um, first floor of this place, second floor of this place, seventh floor of this place, all this. Who was calling all these reports of a shooter and, and why? Yeah. Like, was it just because of, of so, the echoes and the noises that they could hear? No, from... so, so it's people running down the strip, running into the lobbies, yelling, shooter, shooter outside, shooter outside. And, you know, people are just calling from these places. Calling nine one one, saying, "Hey, we, we got reports of a shooter here," and so you know, and then that just gets shooter. really ah, uh, okay. So it mm-hmm. was just wow, chaos. Okay, yeah, chaos. Basically, yeah. fucking up an already fucked up situation. Yeah, Jesus. Well, um, God. Damn. So after so after a while, uh, after eleven minutes, and I'm listening on the phone. By the way, they did they broadcast it live over the over the um over the radio. You know, when you breach and stuff like that. So they're like breaching, and, you know, they breach in, you hear like a t- one tap and the guy apparently already, you know, yeah, um, they cleared everything. Um, and then eventually I'm sitting up there. I'm like, I don't know if we can get down because I don't know what's going on. This is what the scanner said. This is all this. Like, so I call later on, I call 911. I'm like, Hey, what is the actual sit rep is like, and they're like, there was only the one shooter. Everything else has been pretty much clear. I'm like, all right, cause we're up here on this little half roof of the Tropicana. So eventually security comes up. I was like, you guys can't stay up here. I was like, all right. They're like, well, the ship's locked down though. I'm like, okay. And they're like, we've, we've cleared the area with our security. There's no one down here. We're going to stick all of you in the convention center. Mm-hmm. I was like, brilliant fucking idea. Mm-hmm. 18,000 people just poured out of there. This is the closest one. Someone comes in there. You're going to stick us all in a convention center. Goddamn <laughs> you're gonna stick, Yeah. You're going to stick all of us in a convention center? And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, this sounds like a terrible idea. He's like, yeah, well, where? It does. He's like, he's like, well, where else do you expect us like, to put you guys? I'm like, this is unprecedented. Uh, I understand you have assets because it's a casino. And I was like, no. By the way, I'm speaking to the head security guy at this point. And I'm like, no, that's not a thing. And he's like, yes. And I was like, who's enforcing this? Because... I've got like 50 people with me that I've been me and this other guy who were, I don't know his name. He was mili- former military. Also, I'm like, we're, we've been like kind of calling shots here. Like you're going you to force us into the convention center. So hold me here in this convention center. Yeah. Well, so unfortunately the strips locked down, like I said, cause obvious reasons. Um, <laughs> so a bunch of people go in there later. I find out that like one of the performers was like actually locked in the, in the convention center and stuff like that as well. I slept for maybe half an hour that night because eventually the adrenaline wears off and you're just exhausted. Um, Not that exhausted. You only slept the, 30 minutes. Bro. <laughs> um, so we walk back across, um, you know, like, so like in Melbourne, like they have those little sky bridges that you can walk across the pedestrian bridges. Well, that literally that one is like the only one. Oh, they have them all over the strip. So they have them all over the strip. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> so they but have I know them all... I know what a sky bridge is, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So they have them all over the strip. So we're walking back to our hotel, and I mean, like, sidewalk was red. Um, uh, just white sheets everywhere, like, intersections blocked off, curtains everywhere, and it was just one of those... Like it, you were in a movie. Yeah, 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 100%. And it was almost like... It, and it was almost like... Yeah, it was like you were straight out of a movie, whether it was like, whether it's the start of like a zombie, like you, whether you're further in a zombie apocalypse or like, because there's no one out there. Like literally they lifted at eight and I walked right out at eight because I wanted to get back to my room, get my stuff and just breathe. And the worst part was, um, not the worst part. That wasn't the worst part was, you know, the 11 minutes of getting shot at. Um, <laughs> so the next day we're walking back into our hotel and three or four SWAT vehicles roll up with like dudes hanging off the side as we're walking up and they're like, get back, get back, get back. And I'm like, not again, man. So go grab cover. And they come out and they're like this, this, I remember this one lady was out front on Facebook live being like, I'm, I'm live, I'm live streaming this. I'm live documenting. And I'm like, can you not? Yeah. I'm like, yeah. like there's a lot of po- other pressing issues right now, lady. Like yeah, she's like, she's in this police officer's ear who's sitting there holding like, guarding like 10 of us who are sitting in the street like wide open because we couldn't go in and he's holding the front and she's like badgering him like on facebook live and i'm like if you don't put that phone away i'm yeah. snatching it and breaking mm, it yeah and that she about probably, she probably famous now mm. i've never for the wrong reasons again. yeah <laughs> yeah good um, lord man well we are both i uh, just so happy yeah. that you are here talking to us now i mean god damn <laughs> okay. what <Cheers>. a <laughs> just the fact that you anyone had to go through that is just ridiculous and crazy yeah um 
Oof. I like to yeah. think that uh, I got out pretty lucky out of that. Um, there's a lot uh, of people, yeah. you know, 59 others that unfortunately didn't. So, And then you got that other... There was another um, person that went to, I think, a similar year to us, went to Arundel High School. She had, like, all that facial reconstruction surgery because she got shot in the face. and she From lived. there? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I remember watching all the documentaries and video footage of this guy just bringing up duffel bags full with the heat. Oh, seeing, man, I mean, seeing, seeing that a lot of that footage is just creepy. Isn't it? A lot of memories. Isn't it? It's, yeah. just, it's just like... Just like seeing the other end of well, what could have been your Not demise. only the other end of it, but how easy it was for him to just bring up several assault rifles and pistols and shotguns and, and thousands of rounds of ammunition and, and just... It's just it's all takes. Well, so apparently he like... It's terrible. Sprayed like out into like the hallway, like when the first person like initially went to go uh breach, and that's because he had like a room service cart with like a camera set up and like something straight out of a movie, doing. man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh he was he, he was a millionaire. Like he was a smart dude. It was a it was a very a methodical. Man. Yeah, very thought out. Like he had dr- like, out. drawings of like like mathematical like equations of like this is bullet trajectory, just the wind prediction patterns like for the night and like all sorts of stuff. It was crazy. Yeah, I mean, as thought out as it was, how much of a coward is that man? The biggest. That's all I'm going to say. So, how do I... Yeah, there you go. Is that, who is, is that? Is that That's yours? That's me. It's Uncle Chris. Oh. So, <clears throat> you guys are, as referenced by the wedding party, two of my best friends. I think that's a fair assumption. All right. I want to see which of you two knows me better. Okay. Okay. The first question so is, who is my favorite baseball player ever? Easy. Good. What was the date that I left for the military? The closest to the date gets a point. Where was my first job? It's not the obvious answer. Fuck. All right. Go ahead. Eric, I feel like you should know one. Your first job? It's not the one we worked together. Nope. Not. And yeah. then I'm going to delete my answer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that's what you meant when you said it's not the obvious one. Yeah, but that's the only one I could think of. Uh, um, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I don't I'm remember gonna, if you worked I'm, here I'm or just gonna not. Put, I'm just going to put that. I don't think it's even close to correct, but that's fine. I know you. Were, I know where you worked after that. Oh, I'm wait gonna a minute. Th- I'm going to take a random guess yeah, me about too. where hold you on. worked before that. Hold on. I know where you worked after. Hold on. I think I may, nah. All right, go ahead. Yeah. Right. Nah. Mm. I'm like one for three right now. Go ahead. <laughs> Who was my first crush? Is it a celebrity? Yeah, not like not okay. like Sarah in kindergarten or whatever. Oh, damn it. Uh, David's first crush? I mean, I feel like on a general scale, there's yeah. like five to choose from. Mm, I'm going. No, I, I got it. I got with it. A, with a bad answer, but go ahead. In seventh grade, there was a rumor circling that I was moving to Texas on a specific date. Wait, years I didn't later, know you in seventh grade. Years later, we resurfaced the rumor, same date, different year, which ultimately led to my firing from Best Buy. What was <laughs> this great, date? Yeah. Um, Closest to the date gets a point. What was the date you were moving to Texas, but you weren't moving to Texas? Yeah, the rumor yeah, was like, we, yeah, we started this rumor. This yeah, I can't remember. The fuck? I didn't. <laughs> Which is so funny. They're like, it's why, memorable didn't, you because it wasn't why like, didn't you tell us you were moving? It's like, it wasn't like month, day. It was a specific day. Yeah, like, I, I can't give you a clue without giving it away. Not that it would give it away. You yeah. know what I mean? I wasn't even there in June. I didn't even know you were You were there person. when I got fired from Best Buy, though. Which was See, the same day. I don't know. I'm going to go with that. Fuck it. And to be fair, Eric and I, I don't think we're friends then either so just work together no in seventh grade oh okay no seventh grade we weren't no we knew of each other i think all right i was like this fucking we played baseball fuck. against like against each other yeah we beat you guys like yeah. 25 to 3 continue <laughs> all right next next question <laughs> if i had a gun with one bullet and could shoot anybody in the world who would it be oh my god Talk oh we have fuck that was my first thought. I don't think that's who he's going to say, though. Um, I've said the same person for the last 10, 12 years. Billion uh, years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm only confident in one answer so far. Go ahead. <laughs> Good. Go ahead. 
I moved to Edgewater, Maryland in the middle of second grade. Yeah. Where did I move from? Oh, easy. City, town? Yeah, Got yeah. Got that? That's easy? We're good. Yeah, that's easy. Okay. The first dog I had as a kid was named Jasmine. What kind of dog was she? I'm anxious to hear these answers. Talk. I don't know. That's not right. Really? But I'm going to go with it. All right, go I ahead. Didn't for, I didn't know your first dog. Like two and a half or eight. Let's go. What is my personal record time for beating Mario 64? Closest to the answer gets a point. In 2021, my highest year to date, how many Amazon orders did I place? Closest to the number gets a point. Amazon orders? I feel like you <sighs> both know I'm notorious for <laughs> something I need. Immediately, it can wait four hours. Okay. This blew my mind when I saw it. It blew my mind even more seeing what I'm at already this year. Is it like over we bust? Like prices right no, kind just of close. thing? No, no, no. Just closest to it. So is this total over the life of your account? No, this no. is in 2021 alone because that was my highest year. Yeah. In 2021 alone. And this isn't items. This is orders. Just orders in general. Yeah, I couldn't figure out how to get it to tell me how many items. Okay. Chris, so you're winning this one, but um, mm, I'm confident in two. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about winning. I I know two are correct. That's all I got. All right. Question one: Who was my favorite baseball player? Easy. Chris, would you put Roberto Alomar? Eric, would you put? Not that. Okay. Well, what that, what, that's not Same what he time, asked. I, huh? <laughs> that's not what, what he did asked. you put? I couldn't. <laughs> Albert Bell. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's and I you know loved let me, Albert Bell. Let me tell you why I'm not mad at that. Because when he played for the Orioles, what number was Albert Bell? Eighty eight. Eight. That's is it. Eight. Do you remember he was the eighty eight? Do you he was an eight yeah, everywhere okay. else? He was eighty eight with the Orioles. Do you remember when they had okay. that? Yeah. Do you me, I still remember seeing Albert Bell in that black Orioles jersey that was sleeveless. Do you remember that jersey? Yeah. And and he would walk up to the plate and I'm like, Bro was oh, oh my god. <laughs> I yeah, I got a pitch to that? God damn. It looked like that picture of uh that you seen that one of George Bush like feeling Michael Pittman's arms? No. What? Oh yeah, yeah bro. <laughs> you, ever, you know, you see Michael Pittman like you see Michael Pittman, Wait, that's right? That's a real thing. Yeah, yeah. I'll ask that too. Yeah. Can you also put it in the podcast? Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. That sounds ridiculous. It's 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 almost disturbing. Almost. All right, check check, check your text. It's almost disturbing. This former president feeling, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, uh, what do you got under that shirt there, son? Let me see. Oh, yeah, that's, yep, yep. I see it right there. Yep, you're going to win us a Super Bowl. Uh, all right. didn't, didn't do that. All Second right. question. Yeah. Wait, was Michael Pittman not on the Bucks team that won the Super Bowl? No, I was talking about him being a, you know, Bush, Texas Cowboys. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Question two, what was yeah. the date that I left for the military, Chris? I put March 15th. What year did you put? Oh, was I supposed to do that? 2000, <laughs> yeah. Uh, 2012. Okay. Eric? I had April 2012. Okay. Uh, Chris, you win. It was March 6th. Nice. 2012? You don't win. You get a point. Yeah, 2012. So you both <sighs> had the year, but. Man. Close. Close enough. Ding. All right. Question three, where mm -hmm. was my first job? So not. Best Buy. Not Best Buy, that's correct. <laughs> and, then, and then I typed lose, and I went, no, it's not lose. Did you work with... So I put Papa John's. Okay. Eric, what'd you put? Did you work with Zach? Where? Cold Stone. No. no that was Sean Vernon. Blockbuster. Yeah. No. That was after Cold Stone. So, Eric, it was... Was Eric's answer Blockbuster? I thought for a second he might have worked there. Um, no. So I put that down, but... Zach was at Cold Stone first and then he went to blockbuster so what was your answer eric i was gonna go with blockbuster no my first job was bayside i bayside thought in? about it washing I, dishes what'd you do there thought about wash it. dishes at okay. 15 years old got paid under the table never knew it if the, who was my first crush <sighs> chris what'd you put i put hillary duff okay um the pink ranger kimberly oh that's the right answer the answer is kimberly the pink ranger shit Good job, Eric. Yeah. Hillary Duff. I, dude. <laughs> Listen, 
<laughs> you got to start paying attention to these podcast episodes because if you recall, in the one I said I never really watched the Disney Channel. All right, in seventh grade, there was a rumor circling that I was moving to Texas on a specific date. Mm-hmm. Blah 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 blah. What was that date? I put Halloween. Okay, Eric, is that right? Because that's what I put. No, that's not right. Yeah, I well, think so. Fuck. Now I need a tiebreaker because it was supposed to be close to it. Gets it. We'll ask us another one. All right, no, do year, do year. Well, there was multiple years. Well, no, no he said he said no, you said the, you said the second one when you got fired from Best Buy. No, we need something non-related. That's not question. fair. You worked there. Okay. Yeah. Huh? I said that's not fair. You worked there. <laughs> True. Um. Okay, I'll come back to the tiebreaker. Okay. The answer was. It. I mean, it's gonna be... three days after Christmas. Oh shit! Damn. I know you should have known that. Fuck. Yeah, Eric, get it together. Next question. <sighs> If I had a gun with one bullet and could shoot anybody in the world, who would it be? I put Jerry Jones. <laughs> I wouldn't waste a bullet on a dude that could croak any second. <laughs> Go Eric, ahead, Eric. Got? Eric looking like he said the same damn thing. Like he's really worried. Nah, I genuinely, I had like no clue sitting here thinking about this. I've racked my brain. And. But you know, we've talked about it. I did. I know we've talked about it and everything. I sat there and I was like, it's wrong. It's wrong. It's wrong. It's wrong. I feel like and you got it right. I feel like I didn't. I genuinely don't remember. So pick somebody. Uh, you didn't write anything down? I didn't for this one. That's, I just, I, I couldn't think of a name even like the, because everything I thought of was like, I, I know it's wrong. I know it's wrong. I know it's wrong. Yeah, I knew Jerry Jones was wrong, but it was an educated guess. Was it though? Yeah. Like, obviously, That's David fair. doesn't want this dude to be alive. All right. Well, the answer yeah. is Casey Anthony. I did know that. That's, yep. Mm-hmm. I knew that, too. Shit. Yep. All right. I know this next one, so Eric can answer first. All right. I moved to Edgewater in the middle of second grade. Where did I move from? Was it Silver Spring? That's where Close. I was born. Close. Never where you were born. Fuck off. He's from, he's from the Dirty Dina. <laughs> No, oh, that's right. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you know where I lived before Pasadena? Silver Spring. <laughs> <laughs> no, I lived in Laurel. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. The first dog I had as a kid was named Jasmine. What kind of dog was she? Ugh. Who wants to go first? You t- I I'm said asking you. Dalmatian. That's what I said. You're both right. Hey. Okay. <laughs> so I, I, I started typing golden and I went, no, that's not right. And I was like, I yes, think it's Cooper. I, I think it's uh Corella Deville. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. What yep. is my personal record time for beating Mario sixty four? Mm-hmm. I said an hour twelve. Okay. Two hours and thirty four minutes. Two hours and forty eight minutes. Fuck. <laughs> Shit. But you're closest, so you got a point. <laughs> so are we tied or am I off by I No, we're you're tied. Up one. You're tied, yeah. Yeah, we're tied. But I still, I guess, depending on how this, oh, yeah, well, yeah. regardless of how this goes, I guess I'll need another one. Yeah. So question 10. In 2021, my highest year to date, how many Amazon orders did I place? Eric, you go first. 256. I went 579. <laughs> that's, that's like two a day. Well, I figured, fuck, I, I figured it was one a day and I was like, nah, he's got more than one a day. No. Uh, it's 195. Shit. Oh. But I will caveat that with it's April and I'm at 85 on the year so far. Jeez Louise. Is it just, is it just like stuff for the show that you're buying right now? And baby yeah, socks? It's, it's yeah, ba- everything. everything. Paper <laughs> towels, toilet paper, dish soap. So you food. have Amazon Prime then? Y- yeah. I need we need a tiebreaker. A... Well, well, no. Yeah. So Eric technically won, but we need right, a... but you get the... Did I? Yeah. Well, I don't think so. Did yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. I guess you technically did, kind of. But we need like Chris, a. Uh, you're Chris. up four three. No one. All right. I'll me. give you. I'll give you one. Go ahead. Where did I buy this hat? All I can see is it says Loco. What else does it say? I can't see anything else on it. It says yeah. Loco Cookers. How long have you had it? Er, three years. I'm gonna, say you, I'm gonna say you bought it. At, gonna, I'm gonna say you bought it. I was gonna jokingly say Amazon. But... I was gonna say Lowe's. I'm going Lowe's. I was gonna, I was gonna jokingly say Amazon, but <laughs> um, 
Three years. Um, yeah, if I had to guess. Going Lowe's? No. Yeah, they don't really sell hats, do they? He, he bought it at some bar in Melbourne. Mm-mm. I'm going I'm to stick with Lowe's. I got no other Inter- guess. Intercoastal. Well, now I need another question because the answer is Lowe's. Ah, oh, damn it. Right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Lowe's sells hats? Yeah. Like, what's this one? Lowe's yeah. sells hats? It. it was in like a little... Yeah. Like down their grill aisle. I guess they sell <laughs> loco cookers. And it was in one of those little like cardboard things at the end David of the aisle. Is like a, David's like a low slut. So, <sighs> yeah, three years ago, I was going. Now, if you would have guessed like 500 something Lowe's orders like three years ago, mm. like during the height of COVID, probably. Okay. All right. Let me go last one and yeah, question that uh, cannot be the same, I guess. This is, that's a stupid one. So here's what, hit, once we're done, I'm going to hit you both with similar questions, but not the same ones and maybe like half of them. Oh, you have a joke to tell? Yeah. So, oh. um, like what's the difference between like a shoe and a ginger? Jesus Christ. Right. Shoes, <laughs> shoes, shoes have souls. How do you get a ginger into an argument? Just say something to them. What's the difference between a ginger and a calendar? Calendar as dates. <laughs> All right, you ready? True. Yeah, good. What was the first country I visited outside of the U.S.? So my first thought is Iraq slash Kuwait, but I'm well, going to go. You got to, okay, yeah, just go ahead and say it, and then Eric, <clears throat> you say it quickly after. I don't think that's correct, though. I'm going to say it's not that. I think it's a more obvious answer. Eric, what's your guess? I'm going to say Canada. See, this is why we had to do the writing down thing. That was going to be mine, Canada. <laughs> You went to Niagara Falls, didn't you? And his dad's from up there and all that. Yeah, yeah. All right, write this one down. I wasn't going with that, <laughs> but I was going, <laughs> well, I was was going with Canada. Answer, for... It was Canada. Canada. Yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> the goal was to trick you and make you think it was Kuwait, but... <laughs> okay. All right. What's my favorite song? Oh, that's... I don't have to write that down. <laughs> that's easy. Come on, Eric. I feel like it's too easy. It's way too easy. Your favorite song. That's so yeah. easy so easy doesn't sound that easy to eric apparently not eric you could just guess because it sounds like chris knows it yeah uh i don't know how's all right tub thumping it's by a place in chicago wait wait a minute Uh, give me your answer chris (laughs) because i don't i don't want to like hint you if you for whatever reason i thought it was in the end by lincoln park it is there's a lincoln park in chicago oh okay okay Uh, all all right. right You take it in overtime. All right. Let me hit you with this. Eric probably won't know some of these. You might know most of them. Who's my favorite baseball player? David should. Maybe I'm, I'm, lo- I'm looking at Eric. I have is, a is guess. Is it not Cal? That's not Cal Ripken. He's, he's, uh. Is he, is he big? <laughs> Frank Thomas. It is Frank Thomas. I was going to say, did it blank when he fell from heaven? Where was my first job slash jobs? Because I had two at the same time. So either or will count. Probably one of the country clubs in Crofton. No, you're close. You're close. South River Colony. Ah, damn it. Yep, it was there, Pirates Cove at the same time. All right. I already already gave up my celebrity crush. Who would I shoot if I had one bullet? (laughs) Oh, I thought it'd be easy for you, David, at least. I hate this man. Oh, got it. <laughs> We've talked about it. <laughs> yeah. Eric, think of uh, my favorite. Think of the colors of his hat. And then think about places you go to the bathroom. And then think about Super Bowl champions. And London. Okay, go on. <laughs> David, go ahead. Who is it? I, you didn't get my answer by all those clues? No, I got it. But I don't think Eric got it yet. I oh, said, he, and London? Yeah, he he knows who it is. Oh, and London. Big, no, Big okay. Ben. Big yeah, ben. You, yeah. Uh, what town did I grow up in? I think that's easy. Uh, East Priest, like West Ah, Minister. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Hi, everyone. I just wanted to take a second to ask that you all hit those like and subscribe buttons. Or if you're an audio listener, go ahead and give the guys five stars. Thanks for listening. Now back to the Poor Choices show. All right, so let me see how this blind ranking between two people goes as opposed to just blind ranking with one person. Let's see how, let's see how it goes. And it's something that you both are uh, well versed in, so we'll see how we'll see what happens. Um, and I'm I want intrigued. You, I want you guys to blind rank these drinks. That I'm going to give you, um, 
And to see who goes first, I want you both to give me a number of between one and 20. Closest gets to go first. Go eight. 13. It was exactly 13. That's my favorite number. I know. Kurt okay. Warner. <laughs> Explains a lot. All right, David. In the blindly rank these drinks drafts, your first drink of choice is a margarita. Number one. Eric, you have two through five left. Oh, we're doing it that way. Oh, yeah. And then we'll see how you guys would agree or disagree with your draft. So we're it's we're doing it together, basically. Together. This is okay. your draft. This is and your you're draft. You're watching him pour that beer, correct? Um, yeah, but my monitor just cut out. So he started pouring it, and that's as far as I got. Right, keep going. The beer's not empty. Well, there's a head. There's a head. Hold on. I'm gonna spill it over my keyboard. Barm? It's like barm? two millimeters. What do we What do we call it? Barm. 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 Nope. You said barm, and and that was wrong. Boom. No. It's a literal. And, and that was the other thing I meant to talk to you about. <laughs> he doesn't say that. John Madden says that. Oh, yeah. He says, like... Barman goes, what? What? Yeah. Yeah, Madden's, boom, pow. <sighs> Tough acting to acting. That was the yeah, full yeah. beer. Yeah, all right. So, uh, yeah, literal literal 12-ounce... Uh, Who drinks yeah. a beer? Anyways. <laughs> Me. That's what I had. <laughs> all, right, all, right. all right. All right, Eric. <clears throat> mm-hmm. So, number one's taken with margarita. I didn't realize right. we were doing this together, Eric. I'm sorry. Yeah, you... But I stand by my pick. I would have uh, overruled you, and it would have been number one. Rum and Coke. Rum and Coke? Mm Mm-hmm. From four. Four. It's your favorite drink. No, it's not. That's Joe's favorite drink. Uh, You got to remember, we get five. I know. We ain't got an open bar here. Going four. All right, David. Vodka soda. Are you okay with this? Hey, it's your turn. Yeah, it's our list. Uh, Vodka soda. I'd put it below uh, rum and Coke. Five. Oh. Way below it. Five? Well, one below it. Two? He put it oh, at four. He, oh, he put it at four. I put rum and coke at four. Uh, okay. All right, Eric. <laughs> so, uh. How about a uh, mimosa? Ooh, mimosa. Oh, we'll go, we'll go uh, I know you love your mimosas, David. Um, all right, so we're going to have... You don't put it at two, I'm going to kick you out of this fucking shit right now. I'm just kidding. <clears throat> you put it where you want. But you got to think, where is he going next? I know. There's so many different ways he can go. He can go whiskey and coke. He can go ginger beer. He can go uh, a mule. He can Makes, go. I'll tell you where know. he's gonna go. Me can't know. I'm he's gonna, yeah, there's a lot of places you can go. So mimosa, I, it's either two or three here. He's, um, he's gonna go a lemon drop next. Oh, you could go that. Oh, I will man. say that one of you has already said what I'm gonna go next. All right, two mimosas, two. Well, you're the only. Okay, your last one is gonna be a Moscow mule, David. Ah, three. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> David's handcuffed there. <laughs> so, so, so you went with margarita at one, mimosa at two, Moscow Mule at three, rum and, rum coke, and coke at four, and then a vodka soda at five. Perfect. I'll take that. Really? Oh, yeah. I, genuinely, I will. T- yeah. Yeah. See, I 100%. would put a, I'd put a mule probably above everything if it was me personally. I love me a Moscow Mule. Love it. Now we'd have been we'd have my been number in two on... would be a mimosa. And then I'd probably go margarita, rum, and then vodka soda. Hmm. If I like it was what we me. did there, Eric. Now, if a if a whiskey and Coke would have been in there, like a little <laughs> nice little Jack Daniels, Jim Beam, and Coke, like that would have been chilling at one if it was me. Okay. Well, it wouldn't have because I went margarita. First. Well, yeah, it, it, well, if it was you know, if it was my list. But so I, it was included, I'm interested in knowing if you had a gone first, where would you have put margarita before me? you knew this was a team effort? No, Eric. Oh, I would too. I would have said three. I would have said three. Top two. I love me a good margarita. Mm. I don't I love I'd have been bad margarita. I don't love, but I don't dislike. Okay. All right. Well, we have the ginger on hand, so it's only fitting to do the ginger, the ginger draft. How do we feel about that? It's going to be team poor choices, Chris and David, against team soulless, Eric. All right. Yeah. So it sounds like you're excited. I can't wait. Yeah. I'm, okay. I'm good. Look at this guy and his fucking <laughs> chips. I wish I could look at him. My screen's black right now. Uh, he got ginger snaps. <laughs> <laughs> I almost spit my beer all over the place. All right. Well, we have the ginger eating his ginger snaps. So we're going to do the ginger draft. Ladies first. Let's get into it. By that, he means losing football teams first. That's you, the Bears fan. Oh, Don't look around. Right, um... It's on your head. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right. So. It's number one pick. With a fr- yeah, go ahead. Sorry. The God of Thunder. 
Say that again. In Norse, in Norse mythology, Norse mythology, Thor is a ginger. Not in the Marvel Universe, because they changed him to blonde for some reason. So, but in actual mythology, he is a ginger. We've already won. Um, no. Our number one pick, easily, in the ginger draft is Carrot Top. Who doesn't think of a ginger and think of Carrot Top? I mean, he is... He's, just, he's, the, he's the poster boy. <laughs> no. Well, go ahead with your... Uh, according to Norse uh, mythology, uh, well, this is my number one pick. All right, here's your number two. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> Chucky. Oh, Ooh. Ooh, which one? Damn. This is where... That's a good pick. The doll. That's a good doll. Doll. pick. With our second pick, we're going to go the opposite Chucky and take Tommy's buddy, Mr. Finster. <laughs> good pick. I don't know, Tommy. Yeah, that's a great pick. Number three. Going to Reba McIntyre. Oh, she was on the list, David. I know it. She was on the it. list. That's a good third pick. That's really good. So with our third ginger pick, I think we're at the pumpkin patch. Um, <laughs> <laughs> going to take the meanest girl of them all, Lindsay Lohan. Number four. Man, we're going to go with... We're going to go with Daphne. Oh, snap. ruh ruh Reggie. That's a great mm-hmm. pick. Does Daphne have a last name? Yes, but don't... Re- Dude, yes. Daphne do have a last name. <laughs> she do have a last name. That's a really good pick, Eric. Damn. Shit. Not as not as good as our next one. All right, hit me with it. With our fourth round pick, we're going to go with Albus Dumbledore. I did not know. He, he's a redhead? Evidently, the long tresses and matching beard that make Dumbledore look like a stereotypical warlock weren't always so gray. His hair was auburn when Harry saw him in the Pensieve visiting a young orphan boy, Tom Riddle, who would later become Voldemort. Okay. That's the most powerful wizard of all time. All right, all right. Allegedly. 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 Rounding out my top five. Yep. The greatest Viking to ever live. You already picked a Viking. Adrian Peterson. Randy Moss. No. Randy Moss. Eric the Red. That's your, that's uh, your fifth pick in the ginger draft? Eric, Eric the Red. Eric Thorvaldson, his son, Leif Erikson, was the actual first person to discover the Americas. Yeah, Eric, you lost. Nah. <laughs> and with our fifth round pick, she came off of ACL, so she should have been a first round. She dropped to the fifth. She'd been nursing <laughs> that ACL for thousands of years. Four choices are going with Wilma Flintstone. <laughs> Will. <laughs> All right. Well, y'all listening and or watching, uh, who won? The soulless draft. <laughs> Hopefully, your hosts won and not the guest. But you know what? We're we're open. We're open to arguments and uh, biases and all of the above. So we'll see. We'll see what we get. So if if you guys could like swap bodies with like I wouldn't do it because I don't want red hair. With, <laughs> no, no, no. With any person for a day, who would it be, and what would you do? And to counter it, that person gets your body. 24 hours. I, I'm i going to go Joe Biden and so I can make the country better. And because I day? know if he has my In a body. Day? Yeah, executive orders. And I know if he has my body, go through Congress. he's probably just going to forget to go to work. No, no, so no. So we'll chalk it up to a sick day. David, you're supposed to be here at nine. I, and, 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 do you ever and my bo- feel like and you're my dreaming? Gonna go, you're hungover, dude. Just sleep it off. Right. All right. Okay. I thought you were going to say Jerry Jones and put a shotgun in my mouth. <laughs> or just sell the team, maybe. I was joking around and say Jerry Jones so I could screw David over for the next 10 years. Sell, sell the Cowboys <laughs> to the Redskins owners for like $4. <laughs> or, or Jerry Jones and sell the team to me for $4. Oh, see, see, now, you're, see now you're thinking about it. You, mm. you, you got too ahead of yourself. Now that we're getting into the layers. Now right, we're getting the right. layers of this you thing. You got too ahead of yourself. <clears throat> Yeah. We'll go with that, I guess. So you would make yourself Jerry Jones and sell yourself, sell the Cowboys to David, you, Did, for $4. Oh, wait, no, I mean, no, no, you want to go to make day. it 12 so it's like the price of a beer. And then you could say, I bought the Cowboys. Expensive fucking beer. It's AT&T. Come on. I bought the Cowboys for a beer. Okay. Eric? I was going to say, what do you wait on? Last supper. <laughs> right. Do you gain like all their knowledge and shit like that? Do you bring it back with you? No, it's it's you going into them and then going into you just for a day, and then everything. And goes then twenty four hours, you lose all knowledge. Well, you don't lose all knowledge. Yeah. You just switch back. So you still mm. have all their knowledge. No, no, no. 
Eric switches into, let's say, Prince Prince Harry. So I just, but he's still but Eric. I'm still me. Okay. 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 Right. Okay. All right. All right. Um, man, I'd probably just go with something simple like. Uh, you said that 20 minutes ago, and then you didn't say yeah, anything. Yeah. No, I'd yeah, but I'm saying I'd probably just go with something simple, like you know, like Mike Trout, something like that. Just have the, the simple most three hundred million dollar contract. Simple. No, nah, just talent. Well, you're not keeping that. So just talent for a day. Just that amount of insane talent and be able to live out that dream for a day. Okay. You could, you could do it on a day they got like a travel day and you didn't even play. If I get to pick what day? Christmas. That's not baseball season. Yep. Chris, go ahead. What you got? But he's got a rather beautiful wife to wake up to. Um, Whoever the, I don't know who it is, richest Saudi prince or Bezos or... <laughs> Whoever the richest person in the world is. Why? So I could... He's going to transfer himself like a billion dollars? No. So I could take all those hundreds, tens of billions, whatever it is, and I would say I'm donating all this. Schools, hospitals, food. Jesus Christ, Chris. Water. Cutting this out. You wouldn't do that shit. Here's $3 billion, world. Put it to good use. I'm calling bullshit. It would, it would, that's what I would do. thousand percent. All right, Eric. Let's finish on this question you asked me earlier. Oh. Eric texted me earlier and asked me, so Bumble worked for you. How'd the convo start with you and Kayla? I got to start one on Tinder. I got a match on Tinder today. She's cute. All right, Eric, let's let's do a live response. Did you get any message? It's it's Tinder, no, so you know the girl's not going to lead off. Okay. Hold your, hold your phone up to the thingy dingy. I saw it for like half a second and then it froze. Okay. Caitlin 31. Uh, is that a dude? Yeah, it is. <laughs> no. Yeah. What? No. No. That's not a dude? No. That's look like a guy, dude. That's a guy and a half. No, it's not. Chris, you and I just saw yeah, the that's same a dude. thing. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Go back. What was after that? Go back. Cowboy boots. For fishing. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> that is not a girl. Wait, wait. Move it down like three inches. No, down. What? Eric. So you're going to have to text Eric. us that one. That's a dude. It's not. I'm telling There's you, it's no not. There's no breast on that person. And they're short hair. So they're, they're 100% is. No, it's not short hair. It's in a bun. A man bun? That's long. <laughs> that's long hair. Yeah. That's long hair. Eric, go back to the other picture. Hold it back up. You talking about that? Yeah, and lower it just a little bit. My homeboy got biceps and everything. Wait, where's, the gir- no. where's the girl on that? She in the pond? You're going to have to text that to us. Send it in the group chat. No, yeah, no, yeah, we, we that's got fine. Got that. Got that. You send the other picture, screenshot it, and send it to the group chat. Can you? Oh wait, can you? Can you screenshot and like? Yes, you can. Hold both buttons. It won't. It won't tell them. It won't tell them. Who cares if it tells them? Fucking uh, you take can the screenshot. Screen screen record and then take a screenshot of your screen record. That's how it, to play. It, it does not. It's not Snapchat. It's not going to go. They screenshotted your Tinder picture. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was wondering. No, mm-hmm. no, no. It's not going to do that. Send it to our group chat. What the fuck was that? So since she likes fishing, I recommend you take a shankle approach. Pull out a shotgun? Nope. You gotta you gotta give one of his responses. It got him married a couple times. Couple times? What? Yeah. Well, yeah, he's an idiot. So I recommend you go with what Shankle said, which is, girl, where are you from and how do I get one? Oh, I see it now. That's a girl. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we did not see that. Yeah, from from our perspective, that was like Charlie fishing. Yeah, no, she cute. She cute. So what are you gonna say, girl? Where are you from, <laughs> for... and how do I get one? <laughs> I want you to say what I said. Hey, okay, but that's not what I asked you, girl. How you find her than a frog hair split four ways. It's not what you said. Yeah, it's not what I said. But yeah. I'm not Shankle. Yeah. But that's what I asked you. He's a, he's also not from Florida, Bama, Tennessee. I'm, no, I'm, no, no. I'm from, but. I'm in Pennsylvania, so what? How did the conversation start with you and Kayla? I'm asking. All right, I don't know how effective it's going to be because they're not Bumble messages, but I have our first text messages that progress beyond Bumble. No, just I'm, d- I'm, just the I'm disappointed I- initial you guys don't have... initial combo. Was it about cute dog or? Well, on Bumble, they got to message you first, right? Yeah. Just that. Hey, David, how are she you? Doesn't, she doesn't remember what she said. It was probably a "Hey, how are you?" Mm-hmm. That's what they all open with. Or just a, hey, exclamation point. Hey, I Probably? like your... Yeah, yeah. But my my guess is the initial, like, oh, cute dogs, and then you... See, that's oh, why you I asked David what he, 
That's why I asked David what he opened with, because they always answer with, hey, hey, how are you? And I'm like, David had to have answered with something besides, I'm good, how are you? Here you go, got it. Ready? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I can't read that. Yeah, it's all blurry. But I see a dog. Oh, it's, of yeah, course yeah. there's a dog down you. there at the bottom. Jesus. You're gonna have to read right. it. Can't read it, David. It, well, one of them says, hey. So she said, hey, with two yeah. exclamation <laughs> points. Two, uh, I said, yeah. I said, hey, with one, and then how are you? He said, hey, I'm great. How are you? Is that your pup in the picture? And I said, good. I'm good as well. And yes, she's one of three of my girls. And she said, aw. And I said, is that your baby and your pick? And she said, yeah, that's Weeble. He's my three-legged mutt. So I was right, but at the same time, yeah. They all start with a hey. A hey, and then it was animal related. Does she have any? You should say, is, is that your fish in the pond? Hey, 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 hey. That's really good. Because if not, uh, I've got a line for you. But you want to be... Uh, so, yeah, so here's my thing, Eric, is you're on Tinder. So there's going to be a lot. Like on, on Bumble, it's different because they got to come to you. But you're you're pitching against the world here. So you got to come in creative. You can't hit her with that. Which is why I thought you were going to come back with something creative. Not just, hey, how are you? But, you know. Say something creative, Eric. I'll give it a shot. I'll give it a shot. Uh, you need not, to do it right now. That's this not, is called content. Yeah, I was going to say that's not that creative. Something better. Got to do it right now. Something better than I'll give it a shot. No, I'll download it and I'll do it. No, 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 no. no. You, no. you send a Tinder message right now. Hey. Oh, Tinder message. I thought you were saying do hinge I, right now. I I'm like, said, that's a lot of stuff. You message up. that girl right now and talk about you're the only fish in the sea for her. She messaged you first. She said, hey, one exclamation point. Hey. Do it now. I see you're fishing, but I'm, only, I'm the only fish in the pond for you. No, 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 real bad. Hey, I see you're fishing, Say, but you already you're got it. For, but you already have a catch right here. Looks like a There's plenty of fish in the sea, but this you see this fish right here? This is my fish. I don't see anything oh, no. but a glare. What's that? It says there's plenty of fish in the sea, but this fish, it's like a whole bunch of regular fishies, and then there's like a, like a tropical fish. It says, this is my fish. Don't touch my fish. Yeah, don't say that. You gotta, you gotta nah. relate that to how that's you. <laughs> or say, um, I don't know if you're fishing for compliments, but I got plenty of them for you in my tackle box. Hey, nice pole. Wanna ride mine? Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. that's Tinder. Mm -hmm. That's Tinder worthy. That's Tinder worthy. <laughs> Eric, send the goddamn message. Hey, nice pole. You want to ride a soulless one? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come check out my fishing soul. Oh, oh, that's real good. Come <laughs> check out my fisher soulless. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, maybe not that. Yeah, <laughs> bro. All right, bro. I gotta I gotta eat some food. Can we get off this? <laughs> Once Eric sends that message, we're done. Yeah, we gotta say fuck esports e kids. <sighs> nice. What am I sending? Nice pole. Need no. Need a worm. I don't know. Say, is that a fishing pole in my pocket, or am I happy to see you? Right. Jesus Christ, you guys give terrible advice. I hope you're not fishing for compliments because I have plenty to give you in my tackle box. I feel like I can leave in my tackle box without and. Yeah, you're thinking way too much. It's tender. If you're no, fishing he, for compliments, uh, well, that's what I'm saying. Uh, he he went, he right went too far with it. If, I, I hope you're not fishing for compliments because I got plenty to give you. Well, you don't want to say I hope you're not because that's rude. Maybe just say, say if you're fishing for compliments, I have plenty to give you. Maybe just say, hey, sup, girl, where are you from and how do I get one? What's your jersey? My what? He knows, he knows her name. Your name and number. <laughs> All right, for what am I going with? Are you a Bears fan or am I in luck? That's Colts. Are you horny or is that just oh, no, me? I just meant like if you're if she's not a Bears fan, then that's good. <laughs> I need I need to know your approach. See, the problem is the problem is there's a few pictures, but there's nothing in the bio. Hey. There's like nothing there for me to go off of. So I can't be like, hey, you like this? Hey, hey you like your... I like your pick. Are you catfishing out there? Uh, it might be a dude. It's Tinder. Yeah. Fucking half of them are. So I'm say saying, uh, how many times I've had to swipe left? Like that's I see you got a pole, but you want to try noodling? <laughs> ain't bad that ain't bad that say, ain't bad are all the flags about you as red as my hair mm. yeah don't say that god damn it Dave I need to know what kind I like of the fishing for compliments one what was it um the first one I said I don't know I don't know if you're fishing for compliments but I have plenty to give you and you can put the tackle box in there if you want or the noodle one whichever you know I don't remember anything about a noodle no the noodling I see you're fishing you want to try noodling Noodling's like where you stick your hand in a hole to catch a catfish. You don't know anything about that, David? I want to watch you send this message so I can go eat a piece of lasagna and snuggle my wife. You guys didn't eat at all? No. I haven't eaten since yesterday. Uh, 
We've been troubleshooting for the last three and a half hours. Troubleshooting what? What do you do? No, no, there's no we. Send a message. <laughs> I am working on it. And show Who, proof. There's no we. Uh, well, you can send it after we get off the call and then send us no, proof. No, we need, we need content. Eric, hurry up. Send a message, Bucky Sports, right. and let's do it. What am I going with? What am I going with? I don't know if you're fishing for compliments, but I have plenty to give you. Nice poll. Want a noodle? One of us is married. I thought Listen that pick them. was a dude. Is that you? <laughs> <laughs> just casual conversation. <laughs> just reply. Not even a pickup line, just a genuine reply concern. Why did that picture go? Is that your brother? Question <laughs> mark. <laughs> so fucked up. Jesus. Hurry up. All right. Let's go. Um, all right. I sent the fishing one. Let's see it. What about noodles? Let's see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Noodles. Yeah, noodles. Yeah, let's see it. Oh, no. Let's rank our app. What was that? <laughs> I dropped my phone on the beer can. Is that your 10 ounce glass? What's going on? Wait, lower it a little it bit. Was, uh... Yeah, hold it there for a second so the camera focuses. And then click on click on the phone so it focuses. No, click on the phone so. No, it doesn't. It, you got <laughs> it, it doesn't work, work like work that. that. You talk about the camera. It camera's. doesn't work like that. <laughs> no, I know it doesn't, but. <laughs> Eric, keep clicking. My, keep... Mine doesn't work like that. No, click on the, click on the phone. Tilt it forward. And then. You're not going to be able to see it. No, forward. Pop lock and then drop it. He already did all over his beer can. Oh, there you go. Oh, oh. Yeah, we're Perfect. good. I can't yeah. read it, but when I spend the next three and a half years of my life editing this three-hour recording, I'll probably see it. Yeah. Fuck eSports kids. Every single one of them. We out. And the Bears. Peace.